Yo, yo, Joe. What's up, buddies? Welcome back. Thank you for hanging out with me for a bit. Thumbnail picker. <laughs> Shit. All right. I'm dehydrated. I'm not, not hungover. I'm just fucking holiday weekend, you know, Christmas shit. I ate a bunch of crap and I got sick from just eating too much salt. So I'm just like, oh, you gotta hydrate. As mentioned before, one of the cool things about making this YouTube channel is me being in contact with you guys, right? So far, I'm very happy how things are going. People are, you know, responding to my videos, just having a chat, and, you know, that's literally what I'm doing, just having a chat. That being said, about like a week ago for me making this video, I made a video where saying that uh, chasing your heart and dreams is bullshit, right? And basically, you know, I me mean, talking about almost like in a word of encouragement, basically that just because you want to do something or you want to, you say you want to do something, you know, you sit around and you think about it is not enough, right? Basically, what I'm trying to do is, you know, you def want to encourage you to take more action to achieve your goals, right? You know, you're sitting around, you know, saying you want to like lose weight, for example, right? You're saying, oh yeah, I want to lose weight. I want to do this, you know, just because you say it is not going to happen. You got to make changes in your life to make it happen. Meaning, you know, you got to wake up early, you got to go to the gym, you got to like stop eating junk food and get rid of the candy bars, you know, fucking stop drinking soda, you know, that's a lifestyle. Uh, they have to like change to achieve your goals, right? Whatever they may be. So that's pretty much what I was trying to get at with those, with that video, right? Now, um, some people, I mean, without, not necessarily got offended or were attacking me, I guess they were trying to like clear up their perspective as, you know, what are your dreams? What are your goals, right? And I think it's because mainly a lot of people that have been, you know, including me, we're raised to think, oh, achieve your goals, chase your dreams, do this. You know, you get a lot of motivational speak for people that are like, yeah, just do that. I mean, that's cool and all, but I mean, like, yeah, at least for me, you know, I always been the type of person that, you know, your words don't mean shit I like, well, without the action, right? You can tell me you're going to do something, but I mean, if your action says something else, then obviously, you know, your words are meaningless. Shit, I'm at a point in my life now where somebody was to be like, hey, you know what? I don't like you. I think you're a piece of shit. I'm like, eh, fuck your words. I don't care about you. I'm just walk away. <laughs> you know, I'm at that point in my life where it's like, you know, fuck it. I really don't care. You know, it's people's actions that are important to me, right? Well, this video actually got like a few comments and then like, you know, I responded and then that, you know, person responded to me. You know, there was a bit of a discussion going on. Like I said, it wasn't an argument or anything like that. It was just like a chat, you know, and I, I thought it was cool. It was fun, right? I was having fun with it, right? I don't know if you guys heard of Mark Manson. He did the books of like, you know, the subtle art of not giving a fuck. And he did another book, um... Everything is fuck, a book about hope. You know, I, I read both of his books, right? But, uh, you know, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, that one's, uh, I guess, the most popular one. Through his book, basically, one of the things he says is basically how to find your passion, how to find the things you care about, and so on and so, on and so forth. Because, like, part of not giving a fuck is not necessarily you're not caring. It's just, like, you need to find out exactly what is it that you do give a fuck about while well, you don't, right? If there's certain things that you don't care about, then there's really no fucking reason for you to do that. You don't care about... Climbing a mountain? Fuck it. Don't climb a mountain. You don't care about speaking to speaking to a certain person? Fuck them. Don't talk to them. You know, basically, it's those little things that kind of help you achieve your goals better because, like, in reality, a lot of the shit that we end up doing could be a fucking massive waste of time, if, especially when it's something that you're not really into, right? We're awake during the day. Obviously, we're doing something, right? If you're the type of person you feel anxious like something is wrong, that means that you have ambition. You, there's something you want to achieve with yourself, right? But you don't know why yet. And that's fine, right? Whatever it may be, you need to like work on it, right? But the, most importantly, you need to not focus in on yourself, right? Um, I strongly suggest to begin with, look into therapy, figure out if there's anything wrong with you that may be holding you back. If you're the type of person where like, you know, you were raised to like, you know, take care of other people and pull yourself last, then uh, those are some issues that you need to work on yourself, right? But uh, that being said, um, I was in a point in my life where I just didn't really care much about anything because, you know, my living situation wasn't great. I was just basically a fucking zombie, right? I was an autopilot and that was a miserable fucking experience for me. I wasn't happy whatsoever. I just woke up early, went to work, came home, fucking drank, woked up the next day and did. And I was, my life was on repeat. I was fucking bullshit, right? Eventually I got into like uh, watching movies. I really got into movies and I started watching a lot of like, particularly Asian movies, really. I got into like Kung Fu movies. I really got into Japanese cinema, uh, Korean horror, like horror movies from Korea are fucking epic, you know? Uh, then I got into like a little bit of Thai movies and stuff like that, but I was really into like foreign movies, right? I got, I became a fan of it. So through me watching movies, I developed an interest to learn more about the actors, you know, the directors, you know, my favorite directors were all Asian. So I started to read more about them. So my interest became more into filmmaking, right? So as I got more into that, uh, interest of getting into film, the idea of me becoming a filmmaker 
started to develop, right? So by that, I, I bought a book. I remember like how to become a filmmaker because I had no idea. Then from there, you honestly went online searching how to make a movie, this and that. I remember I bought a camera, so I started to mess around with it a little bit. Uh, I got a computer and you know, I started making my own stuff, an iMac, right? You know, a piece of shit computer, but you know, I started working on my own stuff. Eventually, I went starting going to school. Um, I switched majors from construction over to film. You know, started doing more film related courses, right? Uh, and through that, I basically started to meet people and because I was so interested in like uh, filmmaking. I was very familiar with like certain actors, movies, you know, so on and so forth, you know. So I got along with the people in my classroom and stuff like that. I made friends and then through friends that I met at school, I eventually got a job doing what I do, right? But that all started because I had an interest in filmmaking and that started with me just watching movies, right? So what I'm trying to get at is that, um, you know, how to find what is it you really want to do. Well, most likely you already are doing something that you really like to do, right? You like to cook, you know? Is that something you like to do in your free time? Cool. You know, maybe you like to knit, anything you like to paint, stuff like that. Maybe you like your job currently that you're doing, right? If you want to improve your life, you can actually talk to your employer and what you can do to make more money, how you can increase your value, stuff like that. Maybe you always thought about starting a business, anything really. There is something there for you. And if you have that anxious feeling like something's missing in your life, that's good. That means there's something, you have that drive, right? But you got to find that shit that kind of like makes you passionate. I got so into filmmaking that it got to a point where like, I started to drink less actually, because <laughs> I used to party a lot, I used to drink, right? But being, because I got into filmmaking more, I started to drink less, because by me drinking, it was taking me, my focus away from my work, which is filmmaking, right? So basically, I guess that's a thing when you know you're on the right track, right? When you give up a toxic habit or toxic people in general, also anything toxic, because there's a goal that you want to achieve, that's something you want to do, you're on the right track. And that's something I hope you guys can achieve, uh, whatever that may be, right? You have your friends call you up, hey man, let's go out and party. You're like, sorry, I can't, I need to do something, you know, for yourself, you know, whether it's, you know, school project or, you know, work on something, anything, right? Cool, you're on the right path, right? I'm not saying, like, you need to cut everybody off, right? But if you have a group of friends that the only reason why they call you for is just a party, maybe you want to cut yourself off from those people a little, a little bit more, right? You want to focus on making new friends that do have the same goals as you two, as you do, right? That way you can develop your skills, create a team of people that have your same interests and stuff like that, you know, focus on that more, right? So that's going to happen, right? But anyways, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely you already have something of interest that's going on with you. You just got to figure out how to make money out of it. And whatever comes out of it, be happy with it, right? Because, you know, I've been working in film for almost seven years now, I think, or eight. I uh, can't remember, to be honest. I've been, I don't keep track, to be honest, but I mean, I'm just at a point where I'm happy how things are going and they just keep getting better, getting, getting better and better every year, right? And because I continue working on it consistently. So there you go. That's all I have to say about that. Thanks for your comments and your feedback and discussing with me through my YouTube channel. <laughs> really appreciate it. Take care and peace.